And finally, if we can welcome to the stage from the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, please welcome Juliana McLaren. Testing? Yeah? Okay. Let's start off with a game called Two Truths and a Lie. I'm going to tell you three things, two of which are true, and I want you to guess the lie. But to make things a bit more challenging, I want you to give me a big, loud shh throughout the game. Ready? Start the shh. A large amount of hearing loss is preventable. Can you have hearing loss? Spending $10 million in hearing loss research and hearing loss is coming out too. And then hearing loss until you just go with the cells in the brain of mice. All right, stop. It's a bit unfair. How are you supposed to guess the lie if you can't even hear it? In fact, we get a lot of important information that we need to remember by hearing it every day. And hearing loss is kind of like static on a TV screen, preventing you from getting a clear picture of that information. Now I'm going to go over my statements again and reveal the lie. My first statement was that a large amount of hearing loss is preventable. One third of adults between 65 and 75 and half of adults over the age of 75 have hearing loss. And one of the most common causes is noise. Everyone from kids playing with noisy toys to construction workers are exposing themselves to a common health hazard. My second statement was that Canadian Action on Hearing Loss funded $10 million worth of research in hearing health and cognitive health in 2019. Hearing loss has actually been identified as the largest potentially preventable cause of dementia. And we often think of dementia prevention in terms of diet and exercise, but hearing loss is another important factor to consider. But how could hearing loss and dementia be related? Let's turn to my last statement, that hearing loss can change the growth of cells in the brains of mice. Researchers found that mice with hearing loss had worse memories, but also less growth of new cells in their hippocampi. The hippocampus is an area of the brain responsible for things like memory, and is also one of the first brain areas to degenerate in dementia. In humans, we look at the electrical activity of the brain to help us understand its function. And there is a brainwave component called the late positive component, or LPC, which has been shown to uh, reflect recognition memory of words and also hippocampal activity in humans. So I want to measure this brainwave pattern, the LPC, in people with and without hearing loss. And in people with hearing loss, if it's delayed or smaller, that could be indicative of brain changes that result from their hearing loss. And I also want to include people with hearing aids to see if hearing aid use can prevent these brain changes. So ready for the lie? The lie is that Canadian Action in Hearing Loss even exists. Action in Hearing Loss is a UK-based organization. Canada is one of the only countries that really doesn't have a dedicated research fund for hearing loss. So despite everything else I told you about hearing health and cognitive health, we are not investing in hearing loss as a potential preventative measure. So while going to the gym and eating right could prevent your risk of dementia, popping in earplugs, turning down that TV static, and saying shh to noise can help keep your ears and brain 